All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is Malik Hajan here. Uh, in my previous session, I have seen it. Uh, I given a demo on how we can deal with the missing SP file or SP file is corrupted, and how you can create that SP file using your P file in file system database in Oracle Restart database. Everything looks good over there. But now let's get into for Oracle Rack database how you can deal with that situation. Right now, I have this Node one. And I have this node to two nodes where DevDB instance two and DevDB instance one is running. So I can quickly connect to my Oracle user, set the environment to DevDB one and ENV grab capital Vara. All the environment variables are set. SRFGTL status database hyphen D DevDB. Yes, RVCTL. So my DevDB instance one, instance two running on node one and node two looks good. Quickly go into my Oracle home, TBS location. So we have, let's say, init a DevDB one. And if I do cat that DevDB one, I have this. A, Init day one, not day one, I want this init dev db one. Let's say I have this init dev db one dot one, which is pointing to my SP file. What I can do, I can quickly go to my second node. I can delete that file. Before that, what I can say, I can quickly Cat this one just to make sure that we have the backup file before we show the demo here. 268615. Okay, we don't have it. So let's quickly, I can connect to my database here, node one, SQL plus slash as SDBA. So what I can do, create a p file from sp file done created to lsf ltr i have this local p file here on node one that's fair enough i'll go to second node dev db instance two sql plus slash as dba create p file from SP file. Right, fair enough. So what I wanted to demonstrate here, let's say I can from the second node here, I will set the environment variable to my plus ASM2, ASM CMD hyphen P. And I can go ahead and then remove this particular config parameter. Whatever this SRCTL status DVDB which is running from both the node one and node two right now. And then if I do config database for that DevDB, which says where is my SP file? Right now it says SP file data DevDB parameter file. If I can go into that location here in my second node, I have this SP file. I'm gonna go ahead and then remove that SP file. Gone, SP file got removed. Now what I can do, I can do SRCTL instead of status, I'm gonna stop my database with about stop database hyphen D, database name hyphen O, about. So for that, I can quickly go to my node one here, SSH. And the second session, I'll go to node one, I'll do locate alert underscore dev db one dot or so this is my alert log for the dev db instance one which is terminated here because i did a servicetail stop database with the abort i'm gonna do now a servicetail start database right now the situation is my sp file got corrupted or sp file is missing sp file deleted from my disk group location if i do a servicetail start database what happened here it says unable to get the data DVDP parameter file SP file location here. 
right? And then it went further and it has used this local p file on node one init dev db one dot ora with the help of that local init file. My database instance got started here on node one. And database is mounted and database is got open now. Ultra database open is here. So my database is got open. If I do SLCTL status, my DevDB1 started a node 2, DevDB2 started a node 2. Because both the node 1 has its own local p file, node 2 has its own local p file. No issue on that. So then how can I deal with this kind of a situation? Right? So in that case, what I can do now, how can I restore my SP file? I can quickly connect to any one of the node. Create SP file from P file. You're gonna get created my SP file inside the disk group from the P file, which is locally available on node one. So if I can exit and insert the endowment to my plus ASM one, if I do ASM CMD hyphen P, CD data. If I do ls and l, it says my SP file got created with the SP file devdb one dot ora. That's the wrong thing because it has to be SP file my DB name, not the instance name. That's the wrong thing. I'm gonna remove that one again. So if I try to create, what happened? If I try to create this one, this is going to end up with creating my a P file locally with the instance name. So I need to create a P file with my own. Let's say I can go back to my database, devdb instance one, SQL plus slash SSDBA. I want create my database SP file with this particular format. So for that, I'm gonna do create SP file equal to my SP file name from P file. Got created now. So now SP file got created, I can again come out of this. I can set the endowment back to my plus ASM one, just to show you that how this time your SP file will be get created. Data, lsfnl, and your DevDB name, lsfnl, parameter file, lsfnl, and you can see SP file properly formed. Is sys created? No, it says no. It means manually we have created using this create SP file. If your database is created at time of your database creation, it says is this created as. Otherwise, it's a manually we created or we given the name of this particular SP file. Fair enough. So now we got SP file. We can start my database. DevDB instance one. I can go ahead and do stop my database. Stop database hyphen O. I'm going to do abort because it is started with the local P file. Now I want to check whether it is getting started with the SP file what we created. Right now I can do start right. It has started here. And I found my data, DevDB parameter file, SP file, DevDB data right properly. It has used that SP file, which is under my ASM disk group. Database is mounted here. And database is getting opened here now. Right, database is got open now here. If I do status check. Right, DevDB1 running a node one, DevDB2 running a node two. If I connect back to my SQL command line, show parameter SP file. 
you can see my database is got running with SP file, which is under data disk group. Right, so the, the idea or intention here is you can go ahead and then create your just SP file, but it will end up with creating under data disk group. If you want to go with your own custom name path, then you have to give that complete path. Then only you can you can see this particular the locations under your SM command line. You'll be having your proper SP file name and other structures. Right, so this is how it's gonna look like. Right, that's a quick intro about how you can restore your SP file with the various database types, file system, Oracle Restart, or Oracle Rack database. It's just a single command, create SP file from P file or create SP file and from the P file, you can give the P file path. So same thing goes for here as well. Like, you know, if you want to give that complete name of the path, like right now, create SP file or create SP file or create this one. Same thing applicable for here as well. So you can go ahead and then create your SP file from the P file. I can give that complete path. All are one and same. All right, guys, that's a quick intro or demo about a various scenario, how you can deal with restoring your SP file or creating SP file from the existing P file. We'll see you in next session of videos. Thank you, guys.